Avery. It's December 2nd, 2011. I'm in Siberia, just on the outskirt of a city called Tomsk, uh, which has got a lot of innovation going on. Uh, who are creating uh, sort of technology, new technologies, especially in the petroleum field as well. But I'm here at the headquarters of Triaxis. Now, we saw Triaxis at IBC. There's a video link on this YouTube channel. And they do real-time conversion from stereo to auto stereo. They also do some pretty interesting stuff with lenticular photography as well. So I'm going to go inside. I'm going to meet the boss, Alexi. He's going to talk about some of the 3D photograph, uh, photographic uh, systems they have. Then we're going to look at the, a Dimenko display at Top University which will be showcasing some of their real-time conversion tools as well. So let's go inside. Okay, well I'm now in from outside. It's nice and warm in here, but absolutely freezing outside. Back with Alexi, who you would have seen uh, I interviewed at IBC showcasing the Triaxis system. Thanks for inviting us over here in the Tom Siberia. Um, let's, can we have a look at the ecosystem of the Triaxis system? And, and let's go through what your system is offering in terms of te or technology solution conversion and real-time and as a post-process. You've got a chart up here, perhaps you can explain okay. a bit about this. This picture shows uh, the full chain of the real-time system that we do. Okay. The system includes uh, video capturing from a stereoscopic camera in real-time. This video could be processed inside the sound computer system which operates using our NetJet software. It's a real-time software for video capturing, uh, encoding and transmitting. Uh, inside this uh, video capture server, we uh, make a conversion of stereoscopic video in auto stereoscopic format and then transmit it in standard transport stream okay. over internet or just digital digital, digital, digital system yes yeah. then we receive it using our media player it's a special kind of set top box okay. which is able to operate with different types of displays mm -hmm. and TVs and uh, what is the most interesting thing is that this set of box is able to control and provide auto stereoscopic video to the auto stereoscopic screen which displays 3D without glasses. Okay. Finally, um, potentially you could create, I'm just thinking, there's a lot of connected TVs out there, Samsung, LG, Sony have televisions now, smart TVs connected to the internet. So obviously, potentially the future will be a lot more delivery of 3D content via IP. So this system, you could generate a 3D channel uh, sent to the box, which can then be used by three different displays. Is that correct? 2D TV? Yes, yes, it's our goal. Okay. Our goal is to support as much a different kind of TVs as we can imagine. So, uh, the issue is also the so-called universal 3D video format, yes? yeah. uh, which could be backward compatible with 2D system and compatible with system with different types of uh, operation. Right. With glasses displays, non-glasses displays, and plain 2D okay. displays. Very interesting. Well, we're going to show you now an example of this technology. And I, IBC, we saw the real-time solution with two cameras, but now we're going to go to Thompson University where they've got a Dimenko display set up, a 28 u Dimenko display set up. And we're going to meet Marina, who's the product manager here at Triaxis, and also Vlad, who's a head of technical support, who are going to show us a few more things about their Triaxis technology. Thank you. We're here with Marina and Vlad from the company. And the, they've got a screen here at the university. Tell me what we're seeing here, because what we saw last time was two cameras you were converting into auto stereo. But I'm interested about your post conversion process and why you think that it's the best, because it's getting quite competitive now. Right? There's quite a few companies offering this kind of solution. So tell me why yours is different to everybody else's. Uh, first of all, uh, we use our two depth map technology. Uh, that enables to receive better quality of the depth map at the end. 
So first we have right view with a depth map, left view with a depth map, then we combine it and receive uh, such kind of results. Okay, so this is a 28 screen. Does your technology only work with Dimenco? Just Dimenco screens that only can work with triaxis? Or can uh, you all for the work post production, with? it's not. Post production? Yeah, okay. if you talk about the post production, to depth map, we use for all the screens. Okay. First, we receive this picture, and then we convert it to number of you required uh, as an input okay. for different types of screen. Five view, eight view, nine views, whatever. So. Vlad, tell me about depth map, because people might not understand what a depth map is. This is a depth map here, isn't it? What, what does this symbolize? Depth map is just the additional information that can help the system to understand what object is in the foreground, what objects in the background. Yes. Yeah. It's just additional information okay. inside one frame. Okay. So one frame of such stream uh, contains original image, mm -hmm. yes, and additional okay. information. This the white here means things are coming forward out the screen? Yes. Okay. The white object is the object for the foreground, mm -hmm. yes, and the black object is the background object. Okay, so let's see it now with in action then. So this is obviously you won't see it, but uh, okay. I've seen quite a few systems. It's very, very impressive. I am interested though. Could we work on the possibility in the future of doing, you know, conversion on the fly? So maybe getting a feed from Sky 3D, plugging it in to the Triaxis system. Do you think that's a possibility? Yes, it's uh, absolutely possible. Okay. So you know we have a real-time solution right now. But this is for real-time shooting and conversion on the fly. Okay. And of course it's possible in the future, uh, in case you have, uh, what can I say, the material on the flash drive, for mm -hmm. example, yes, you can just plug it in mm -hmm. and uh, get the result. And we're also going to see some interesting photography now as an amazing lenticular display that enables you to look behind objects. So we're going to go straight back to the office. Thank you. Right, well now we're back in the office and we have spoken a lot about the television side of Triaxis, but the company originated for, from lenticular 3D photography solutions, didn't it? Yes, exactly. So, 3D Master, tell us about yes. how it all started seven years the ago. The history of our company starts, uh, let's say, seven years ago mm -hmm. from uh, development of uh, software for lenticular uh, image encoding. This is the same uh, type of uh, video the same methods currently is used in the lenticular displays okay. yes. and uh, we develop a special kind of software uh, which named 3D Master Kit and uh, start selling such kind of software in box version and uh, in internet okay. and then we uh, start to develop a video direction also okay. three years ago and uh, I mean, currently we continue working on uh, photo software and uh, develop a special kind of uh, software for large format prints okay. uh, for direct printing on lenticular materials. Okay. We'll, we'll come on to that in a minute. I just, just want to sort of um, explain some of the applications this software can be useful. So this, this is obviously a sort of a eight, eight, three? No, eight. What's the size of that? I thought, I thought, something like that. Um, you got bookmarks, uh, you got flip, it's not just 3D, of course, you got the flip and uh, morph as well, where things, uh, this is a morph, morph into a, a, another image, um, all using the 3D master kit software. But what's particularly interesting is that the way you normally take a, a lenticular picture is you shoot, and you go, well, you keep getting lots of images. Well, this triaxis have sort of worked very hard on generating multiple viewpoints, which obviously you have in a television solution. You can actually get some really impressive images using just a stereo pair, so just two images. And, and this is created just using two images, right? I guess this image was made uh, using one image one. and, and uh, split in one image on layers and, and uh, applying a so called depth map for each layer. In the same way, this picture is made. This picture is made uh, by our partner and uh, customer, Martin Hausner, uh, from uh, Germany and the US. And uh, this image was made, uh, I guess, using several layers, mm -hmm. with applying for each layer the depth map. 
Right. And uh, such kind of operation currently is available also in our three device software. Uh, so, so this soft, this is I know other software might be used like Photoshop, but you can. I mean, this these kind of quality images have been created using this the software that anybody can download. And, yes. Uh, this this is particularly impressed me because. I don't know if uh, we can get the camera in a little bit. You can come forward and move slightly. You can actually look behind objects on this. So if you see the, the A, and you can actually see behind, which I think is just quite incredible. Absolutely amazing. And you're launching soon a new system. Like you've got a, a three-day 3 3D conference in Moscow. Because you're launching a, a newer product that allows you to do super-sized prints, technology called Triaxis Direct. Tell us about how that would enable large, high-res prints. Okay. Currently, on market, uh, uh, special equipment for large format printing is available. For example, so trademark is Arizona, Oiz, and uh, Mimaki printers okay. is able to print over uh, hard materials mm -hmm. and uh, directly uh, it could be printed directly on the back side of lenticular this, this direct, isn't it? on lenticular material yeah. yes. so some additional features uh, was uh, implemented in the software and uh, we will release this software under a new brand mm -hmm. mark this will call the lenticular Generator or legend. Okay. Uh, so and, and the quality is better for direct. Mm -hmm. yeah. the quality is higher. It depends on the resolution. Okay. Uh, this uh, picture was made using polygraphic methods. Right. And using some kind of uh, offset machine. Yeah. And uh, when we print, when we use, uh, say, office printers with photo quality printers. Yeah. It provides good quality for photo, but uh, also uh, enough quality for making uh, 3D images. Well, we, we, we can see now uh, Vlad uh, on the screen is putting in, uh, is using this software with just a, a home printer using 200 GSM paper, uh, and as you can see, it's now applying the, the lenticular, the lens onto the paper, taking it off the the laminate at the back, doing a cold lamination uh, for a very cheap price, as you can see, it's pretty good. That's quite an expensive process in the offset. But yeah. this this is actually uh, uh, just a laminate, isn't it? So this is just as the lens yes. uh, that's, that's actually being put on. So then this is, uh, and it's, it's still a cheap. paper, yes, it's yeah. laminated. Laminated. Yes, and this uh, also the quality depends on lens material. Right. Uh, we have uh, there this picture. Uh, uh, was made using the 20 LPI okay. lenticular material. Right. So uh, the quality of uh, large format printer is uh, quite enough for making 3D images using such kind of lenticular material. Something is that well, absolutely fantastic. Well, yeah, I suggest go 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 to the website. Um, there's so many websites. I forget which, which website it is. Is it triaxis.com? Yes, triaxis.com, and you can you can evaluate the software. There's a free 40 day, I think. 40 day. Yes, we can have a free demo version. The uh, only restriction is the uh, watermark on yep. the generator. So, so you will test it as much as you need. Get creative, have a go yourself, it's very, very cheap. Very interesting. It's sort of technology that's been around for a while, but it seems to get better and better, more and more careful yeah. all the time. So, thank you, thanks for working this down. Thank you. Appreciate it.